Great. So I declare the meeting open and uh, let's check in. Let, let, I was trying to think of something, Sam. I was let me of... let me check in while you are still thinking of something, Jine. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, body wise, I, I I think a, a challenge for me is always that of knowing that I'm not doing enough physical activities, but the feeling side is great. I I I, I watch what I eat and how much I eat. One thing for sure, I eat uh, frequently but little, and that works. That works for me, but certainly very, very little movement at the moment, and I can't wait for for the opportunity for me to go back to my weekly indoor football uh, activity, and of course back to the gym. I know some people are back at the gym, but I'm still not comfortable to be indoors in the gym and and trying to social distance. Um, in terms of mind, uh, you believe it or not, I'm very much preoccupied with the developments around the vaccine because I, I always try to link that with what is happening in the business, in the economic space. It's interesting how the sentiments are, are so positive as a result of the uh, discovery of the vaccine I'm, I'm, I'm always following up the experiences of the London, UK specifically, because that's where the actual vaccination is happening. So I, my mind is always preoccupied with that. And from a business point of view as well, I think um, we, are, we are great that there is progress there. In terms of spirit, I must say, yo, our Sunday gospel and fellowship uh, shows are doing it for me. I really, really am learning a lot. Uh, believe it or not, I, I bought a notebook and uh, every uh, show, I, I make sure that I write down the notes, I write down the scriptures. I always have my Bible with me. So, but beyond religion, I'm very spiritually uh, in, 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 good, in, good, in good position at the moment. So that is me, and uh, I hope that inspires you a little bit. Uh, welcome to uh, 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 um, Tembela, welcome to Shari. Um, we are just checking in. So you haven't missed a lot. So we have asked that we get the three of us to check in. I was the first one to check in, so I'm waiting for two more people to check in. So I, so I can go with Janae. Um, mind, I do feel like I am learning um, exponentially. I'm learning from the podcast, the one Cometa Radio. Such a good job. There's so many great tips and tools, and there's a lot that I'm doing behind the scenes here on my own business and getting a lot of traction. So I'm feeling good. My mind is feeling really engaged. Um, body, I oh, was... Well, like Sam, I have some apprehension about being at the gym, but I have been, and I do enjoy working out, but it's kind of weird because almost like every other machine is shut down for social distancing. Um, you have to carry a spray bottle, wipe everything down, and you have to wear a mask, which is really uncomfortable, <laughs> but I'm, I'm still going. Um, but I really prefer my morning walk, so that's been pretty cool. And then lastly... Um, spirit, I feel like I'm grateful for a, a, a good prayer life um, and to see more things online, um, you know, religiously and spiritually, I feel like there's more, um, there's more information. I do a weekly Bible study and that's been going really well with a few friends of mine. So I'm grateful for those things. Thank you for the check-in. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Janae. And who's next? It looks like Judith wanted to say something. Judith? I... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you wanted to check um, in? No, I, I actually just got in. Ah, welcome. Welcome, Judith. 
checking. We are checking in. One more to check in, and then we'll we'll start with the introductions. And welcome, um, Po. I saw you, you checking in, uh, arriving. Yes. That's wonderful. I'm glad we have some of you, like you and the Tera Pula, that have experienced the methodology and we are going to take other colleagues along with. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Um, at this point, I think we need to give the opportunity to those colleagues that are joining in for the first time. Um, we're always uh, excited to have new members of this team. I see um, Mpo is here, I see Shari is here. So let's, let's, let's give them a warm welcome. Uh, there are little signs we can do. The, uh, there are not many reactions, but uh, I think we can give them a round of applause for joining us. <laughs> Let them feel the energy through the wires. Um, we give you, we send you love, we welcome you, we are excited that you are joining us. You've only missed two, two, two episodes or two lectures, and those were really ground-laying lectures. Uh, so the, re the, the, the real stuff starts today, and that's why we're talking about the manual and asking you to spend some time trying to understand the commercial hotel methodology, but don't worry much. We're going to take you along, and uh, there are a lot of people here that have been part of our physical hotel, which unfortunately we can't replay here. You have to be at the physical hotel to see its maximum uh, impact, but we'll try our best to take you along. Let, let me give Shari the opportunity to just say a few words about herself and... Uh, how she feels about being part of this team. And yeah, Shari. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shari, pleased to meet you all. Um, 
Thank you so much, Ntante Sam, for the invitation, and thank you all for the warm welcomes. I did see the reactions, um, and I imagined the spirit um, as it was happening. Um, I'm really honored to be part of the platform, but more importantly, to learn, um, because I do respect the role of broadcasters um, and just the impact that they could have, um, especially when things are done right, um, and the influence that we as individuals would bring into the room as well. So for me, I'm really honored and I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, I'm really looking our way and understanding how Likhutras work, especially at the time where it's safe to do it face to face. So thank you for the platform and thank you all for the welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Shari. You are, you are welcome indeed. Um, we, we look forward to, to learn from you as well. Um, the uniqueness of this team is that we all are specialists in our own right. And we are here because of the common objective of learning how to use the platform to communicate our special knowledge and and grow each other and grow the society at large. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I, I, know, I know that Mpo is really new in the true sense of the weight. Uh, I don't think... Uh, uh, I, we didn't have time to, 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 to tell her much except that we know now as a member of Friends and Supporters Club, we wanted to give her the opportunity also to be part of the Commerza DJ Broadcasters Development Program. And uh, throughout the, 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 the program, we will be able to, to, to work with her to decide on a program that she could be a host of or a co-host of. Uh, uh, Mpo, do you want to say a few words about yourself? Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity and good evening to everyone. Um, I'm really pleased to be here. Yes, I'm like very new in every sense of the word and hope that this will be a great learning experience and that I will find my feet along the way. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Great stuff. Um, we're going to start very slow and just talk a little bit about the Lekhotla. But before I do that, I, I'm going to ask any one of us who have attended the Lekhotla, and there's no right or wrong, just in short, how will you define Lekhotla broadly as an African methodology or as an African philosophy? And then secondly, how will you describe the way Comesa has integrated the Lakhotla methodology into its facilitation uh, uh, process of human capital development. Uh, anyone who feel brave to do, not brave, I mean, there's nothing to fear. Anyone who feel uh, 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 energized to, to just give us uh, that general perspective, general view, general knowledge or general understanding. And maybe the third one is, how would you see us embedding that into our conversations with our guests at Commerza Radio? Because that is where we are taking it to. The application is what we are interested in. Um, I, can, I can give it a shot. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> today. Um, so, so the way that I view or have come to know um, La Holta, introduced to me by Sam, it's it's an African it's a, it's adapt, adapted from an African methodology and it can be meaning it with its intention to deepen connection. Um, traditionally, the king would have the stick and be able to give the floor to people to be able to speak about um, um, something whatever their story is or whatever it is that needs to be discussed. Um, but using it in, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just kind of putting it together, just jump out there with it, but using it in business or with um, to further connection and relationship or in coaching, you use it to help people move through their stories. You give them the floor, you ask prompting questions that will help them move through earlier experiences through life 
and move them through their life's experience to where they are now and all of the points begin pattern form and it's an easy way that people can kind of guide through their life um, I feel I've been listening to Sam use it it seems very powerful and as an organizational development practitioner I think it's paramount to be able to adapt a methodology like this since in our work we do a lot of team building I'd imagine HR people would use it we're learning and development people or change management project managers where you have to get people together, stories are important, influence is important in helping them move through. So I think it's a, a wonderful methodology to use. Absolutely. But I hope I did it some justice. In Absolutely. I, I can tell that the, this is an OD person speaking. <laughs> you, have, you have so well connected it to the organization development and design facilitation methodology, if there is such a thing called that. It is, it, is, it is a powerful tool to enable change and a shift, but it gives space to people to be truly who they are. And, and we can expand on that. Thank you very much, Janae. That's beautiful. Did you listen to my conversation with Sis Lindy yesterday? No, I haven't listened to it yet. I didn't get a chance to listen to it yet. I have a couple of ones that I yeah. need to catch up on. Some good stuff that's been advertised, but I've been... I've been very, very busy. I have to update you behind the scenes on that. Yeah. Those who haven't listened to it, after today's lecture, go and listen to it because Cecil Indiway is fully inducted into the Lakota methodology. She uses it at her boardrooms uh, because we spend a lot of time taking her through it. And yesterday's conversation, if you listen to it very attentively, you will pick up some of the concepts we're going to be sharing with you today. It's extremely very powerful. Let's hear somebody else. Thanks, Jinae. Thank you very much, I... I'm glad you, you, could, you, could, you could pick it up. And of course, you and I, we did have a long discussion around it. So. A pleasure. Great. Anyone who has experienced our face-to-face -face Lekhotla setting who wants to share with the colleagues? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Rabula. Yeah. Um, I want to put it... Yeah, Pat? Yes, Busese. Uh, I just wanted to add from uh, Dr. Rabula regarding the uh, facilitation. Another thing is it's the... Uh, it's a platform whereby each and every person with the, they bring their experience uh, or their background of which or the, their perspective or their view. Uh, so it's in each and everyone's view and the experience is shared in a more uh, uh, in a more uh, 
environment whereby everyone can be able to be able to be comfortable and will be listened to and uh, will be engaged and know that they are less they are really being listened to or, or they don't they don't just speak because uh, it's not a, 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 a ticking tick box exercise they are listened to their view is taken into consideration that's what i just wanted to add on that uh, uh, that element in the hotel. Absolutely. Basically, if if you have been a very shy person to come out and say something, in a Lekhotla setting, the environment will be so inviting that nothing intimidates you uh, and, and you will come out and, and, and we will all benefit from that because a number of times people have lots of valuable input to make but the environment is so hostile that they don't even try. And then, and then the whole team then lose a valuable input. So the hotla is created in a such way that it is very inviting for a person to talk. You know very well that uh, the, one of the principles of the hotla is everybody who's in the hotla is connected with everybody energy-wise. And when you are disconnected, interesting enough, everybody, people will fill it up, especially in a physical hotel. So, 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 so to just to know, as, as Mbus, as you say, just to know that it is my turn. Because you will have Indugu in your hand, which is the walking stick, stick that Jine was talking about. The moment you have that walking stick, nobody is allowed to talk unless you have let go of that stick and somebody has grabbed it. So therefore you know that everybody is attending to you. And if somebody doesn't talk, doesn't attend to you, the chairperson is there to pick it up and they will, re, they will sort of like remind you of the principle of paying attention to the person that is on the floor. Yeah. And, and, and one of these principles is that silence is also talking. So, so when there is silence, nobody should be feeling pressurized to talk. Because it might be just a moment of reflection for every one of us. So that is that. So we will keep on asking some colleagues to, to share with you because really this, is a, this has worked wonders for me. But let me put it in context of what of, of, of today's environment we find ourselves in business. If you want to really understand it very closely, you you. you Got to compare it to Nancy Klein's Time to Think methodology. If, if those of you who know uh, have read about Nancy Klein. And then I'm going to share with you the 10 components of Nancy Klein's Time to Think environment. Where she says that uh, several times she challenges leaders and business people to first, before they even talk about strategy, to create an environment that is conducive for the thinking to happen, for the, for, the, for, the, for the actual process to happen. That is one, 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 one benchmark we use to, 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 with, with, against the Hotla methodology. The other methodology, uh, the, the concept that you all know very well, is a brainstorming methodology. I've had a lot of people talking about the weight brainstorming. Everybody uses it randomly, but... Very few people read seriously, deeply around the concept of brainstorming because there are rules, there are principles that you follow for brainstorming to happen. And so, some of those principles, you pick them in the African Lokotla methodology. Yeah? The third methodology that you can use to compare it is the, the famous, I don't know, Jine, you know, the World Cafe methodology that is used for big group facilitation. Yes, yeah. the World Cafe. Yeah, the World Cafe is definitely using a lot of the Lakota principles. So, so I want you to, to understand that a lot of people have taken Lakota and integrated it in the facilitation process. And, and we have done the same and hence we produce the manual. We put the manual together ourselves. But let me share with you uh, uh, for your information and I will send the, I will email this document to you. The, the 10 components of time to think as described by uh, Nancy Tlan. The first one is attention. 
That is component number one, attention. Here she talks about listening with respect, interest, and fascination. That makes your partner that you are talking to just excited and want to do more because you give them respect, you are fully attentive, you are interested in what they are telling you, and you actually get fascinated by what they are telling you. So, so, so the Lechotla creates that environment. When you are in a Lechotla cycle, and we have Indugu in the middle, and then you step up and you take that stick, and then everybody just turn and look at you. We physically actually do ask people to turn and look at your direction. To say to you that you are on the floor and we are paying attention to you, we are listening and we are keen to hear what comes out of your, of, of yourself. That is the first priority requirement, number one, that we also find in Lekhotla. Because in Lekhotla, if we, you are busy fiddling and doing things, we will stop the process and say, can you share with us what it is that is stealing you away from us? Because we want you to be full with us. And, and give us the energy boost as well. The second component uh, of Nancy Klein is incisive questions. Removing assumptions that limit ideas. A number of times people say things and we make assumptions that we actually have heard them and understood them. Now, the Lohotla methodology and the, and, the, and, the, and the time to think methodology says that don't make assumptions. Just always make sure that what you have heard is exactly what the person on the floor has said. Because sometimes when the person has spoken and you put into it down, and then you grab it and you talk, we pick it up that you are not really hearing the message. Yeah? So, the, so, so it, it, it asks you to unlearn things that you have learned and learn afresh when people talk. So don't say, I've heard this before and therefore I know exactly what this one is going to say. Because that's where you actually go off tangent by making assumptions before even people finish their statements. Have you ever experienced a situation where somebody is talking and then you complete their sentence and then they say, but that's not what I wanted to say. How do you normally feel after experiencing such incident? You feel embarrassed, isn't it? It's a bad feeling. It's a bad feeling. But how many times we do that? Even sometimes silently. The problem is when people are talking, we are not listening. We are ready for the next question to ask. We are ready to say our next statement. And that's what makes us bad listeners. So that's the second. The, the third component is that of equality. This one you pick it up in Lekhotla. The reason why Lekhotla is always in a cycle is that we don't want to be reminded as who the boss is in a meeting where we are all equal, equ expected to contribute equally. Cecil Ndwe spoke about it yesterday that even in the company when they started introducing it, they did away with the head tables, board tables, not in the boardrooms. You always have this big chair in front where the chairperson sits. People literally stay away from that, that, that chair even when the boss is not there. Now the Lohota deals away with that. When you go in a village where the king is sitting with his principals or with his people, if you are new in that setting, you won't even know who the, the king is. Because the king does not want his authority, uh, his position to stifle ideas from being generated. That's why normally the king talks number last. So being a facilitator and a chair and a host of a show is enough power for you and therefore you don't have to actually do anything extra. But most of us, what we do, we talk even more than our guests on top of the position of being the host. Then what happens then, the guests just get intimidated. So, they, they, so we're trying to be equal and one way of being equal is to remove titles and remove positions and anybody sit anywhere in a cycle and you have to close the cycle because we believe that in a cycle the energy connects us and there's a flow. The fourth point uh, is appreciation. Yeah? 
always appreciating what people are saying. You know, you could be noting your face, you could be noting, you could be uh, giving a, 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 some signs of, yes, you got the point. But the key thing about appreciation is you need to be truthful. Don't pretend to be appreciated when you don't really appreciate. Yeah. The fifth one is ease, offering freedom from rush and urgency. As I indicated, and I always say that uh, when you are going to hold a show, you normally plan and your guests plan as well. Now you have maybe you have 10 questions for the two hours of your conversation. But what this principle says is that it is okay if you end up having asked only two questions because maybe that is what actually mattered once the show goes live. But if you are going to be forcing yourself to ask the 10 questions you have asked, you are not going to be making any impact because the listeners might just be interested in the two questions you have asked and those become the two questions of the show or the two questions of the meeting. Now, the hotla has got its own disadvantages. One of the disadvantages is that if you are in a meeting where you have to take decisions quickly, the Lekhotla might not be the right methodology to use. Because you are going to be cutting people off, you are not going to be listening to people, you just wanted people to come and be a, a, a part of the meeting that is going to take a decision. You have taken a decision, you want them to sign off on the decisions. And that's why Lokota might not be a good decision-making uh, uh, methodology. It's a methodology to explore, to look at options, to look at ideas, views, perspectives, to drill deeper into issues. Therefore, it needs an ease approach. Don't rush people if they have not finished their thought. And don't come in when your fellow colleague has not finished a thought and you have not even responded to the thought. Because when you do that, you then have two thoughts competing at the same time for the same space. And then what is the problem that you may have your listeners interested in split in between the two thoughts. And you may not have enough to exhaust all the two thoughts that you put onto the platform. So the concept of Le Chotla and the time to think is to say that Exhaust the thought. Don't rush people. Check whether the people have exhausted what they wanted to share with you. Yeah? Before you, uh, 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 you proceed. I'm being asked to accept Tembeka. I can't see her. Sorry, colleagues. I get the message here that I need to accept Tembeka into the meeting. But I can't see her. Okay, I'll, I'll message you to, 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 to try not in again. She sent a message saying she can't get through. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, continue. Yeah, the sixth one principle is uh, encouragement. Moving beyond competition of ideas, competition of space, and competition of thought. And, and this is very common because, as I said, human nature is such that we want to be had. And sometimes uh, we, we could end up actually competing to be had. And that creates a, a problem. Yeah, Jine? Oh, thank you. I was just going to ask you to repeat the name of the third one because it cut out and I didn't hear it. Equality. Equality, thank Equality, you. Equality, yeah. Treating each other as thinking peers giving equal terms and attention and keeping agreements and boundaries. Yeah? Great. Um, so the sixth one is encouragement. So as colleagues involved in a conversation and being aware that it's not beneficial for us to compete, we must encourage each other to come out more. And that is one principle in the Lakotla that... Uh, that we're encouraging, and, and Nancy Klein also talked about it. The seventh point is feelings. And this one is difficult. Uh, coaches will agree with me. 
that this is one of the very important uh, part of engaging with clients or with your coaching partners. Allowing sufficient emotional release to restore thinking. If things have boiled out to a point where people are, are, are emotional about the topic or are excited about the topic, it's very important for us to recognize that. Now, some of us are not very good in being in touch with our emotions, never mind being in touch with other people's emotions or recognizing other people's emotions because we are not observant enough. But as a talking partner, as a conversation partner, as a host of a show, you need to be able to pick up the emotions as your guests are talking so that you can drill onto that if it's positive, it's, 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 it's affirming them rather than running away from it. If somebody, for instance, say, oh, I'm becoming so emotional about it, and then you say, t t tell me more. Don't just move away because now this person, you have evoked some emotions that bring a bigger meaning to the topic. And, and, and they say it or you observe it, but you don't act on it. Now it becomes very mechanical and, and the energy vibration does not move you and your partner to the higher level. And therefore you don't really deep into your core strength. Because communication creates energy, you agree. It creates connection. It moves mountains when it is, it is, it, it, it is impactful. So, so sometimes it's a question of being aware of the emotions that you are evoking in your, in, your, in your guests, but that could also be evoked in the listeners themselves. The, the, ninth, one, the ninth one, this is really very visible in the, in the Lohota methodology, and that is place. The place and the venue where conversation takes place is very important. And the setting is also very important. Creating a physical environment that says back to the people, you matter. You are, you are now on the, on, the, on, on, the, on the platform. The setting is welcoming you. And that's why when you come to the Lekhotla, you, you will find that setting is already ready for you. You sit in that uh, in, uh, circle. And uh, any one of us who's ready to take the space, take the space, and 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 the, and, and, and the, the environment uh, which we are part of, then focus on you. And the last one, which is very important for for society like ours, is diversity. It is very important not to assume that your conversation partner is the same as you that they have the same perspective as you, as you, that they understand your culture, you understand their culture, that, 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 that goes, this, this goes deeper than just obvious diversity, like gender, race, uh, disability, or language, or the school you went to. So it's very important that when we put together shows, that we we investigate thoroughly the makeup of our partners because that is your strength. Yeah. So those, those, I just thought that before we go in deeper into Lekhotla, I should share with you the 10 components of Time to Think by Nancy Klein because they are really, I, I, as I was writing this manual as we were launching Lekhotla, Nancy Klein's Time to Think kept on coming in. And, and then, of course, what informed us is our own experience growing up in the villages. Uh, and many of us, I think, uh, Jinei colleagues will tell you, uh, if you have grown up in a village, you must have seen a Lekhotla of some sort. Let me pause here and ask people's comments, for, for comments on my inputs. Is Tembela in now? Pet? I think she's still waiting on the side, so I'm trying to look in together with Sydney as well. I wonder what the problem is because uh, I, I'm not seeing them wanting to come in, but I can. 
see a screen. I think we see Tembela Rosani. Yeah, that's the person. Tembela was here. Yeah, and then Tendani ten, ten, ten ten keeps on saying joining, but she's not she's not arriving. Tendani, are you there? That's the one, Miss Favor. Yeah? Is Tendani in? She's on mute, but it looks like she's here. Tendani is here. Tendani just came in. Tendani okay. Is here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Welcome, Tendani. Great. Let's let's uh, let, let, let's 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 get inputs from those of you that have uh, anything to say. Um, uh, I needed. I wanted to put, make this point earlier on as well. And I'm listening to you. Um, uh, uh, now speaking about the time to to talk and. And all those ten components. One, one thing that that, that 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 comes out very clear that we we often very innocently uh, ignorant of that 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 is now brought up by the Lohotra methodology and 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 the component that you were just saying now for time to speak is a is a is an issue of discipline in 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 conversational uh, uh, in conversational situations. It, it it just goes to tell that we. We, we we we've been very ignorant of that 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 fact and 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 realizing it now brings so much power in 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 our ability to 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 communicate and to 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 hold conversations with our peers and our colleagues and and and, and whatever so forth and it it very productive and, 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 and also enjoyable as well. We, we, we see this as well with our, 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 our shows that, that, that we're running, albeit very, very difficult at times, we, we jump into each other. But when, when, when we, we're in the background, when we talk and we, we, we making, our, making each other aware of, of, of all of this, it's, it's, it's beautiful to, to listen and it's very, it's, it's very powerful. Um, it, it, we, we you're calling it a Lakota methodology as in an African way of doing it. It it, it, it means uh, it has always been there, and we we, we we maybe just went paying attention to it, and and and, and yeah, um, kudos to it. It's, it's 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 powerful. Thank you, thank you, Pat. And you have experienced the real physical face to face Lakota, right? Yes, hundred percent, and. Uh, Brings in the it's 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 something out of this world. I, I've I've been um, for those who don't know, I work in logistics and uh, uh, conversations in logistics can be chaos at times. In fact, 90 percent of times, and 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 and, and having experienced the it, it 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 gives me a, 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 just a, a different perspective and and and, and it, it it has it has. It is. It is. It, it, it is. That it's. It's. It, it's made. It made me better in, in in a way. Even if I have to say so myself. And 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 I'm I'm beginning to pick those little um, uh, mistakes that we, we we often make because half the meetings that we, that we have in general conversations for as long methodologies and the methodology the other methodology and 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 the companies that you just outlining for us um, you. You often go into a meeting and come back without realizing that you're in a meeting and you've achieved nothing out of it. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Great stuff. Um, I want us to quickly before before we're going to make a break, just to share with you some of the objectives and the reasons that are put forward for the application of the Lakota methodology for for meetings. And when I when I do facilitation, uh, Shari, you do a lot of facilitation with companies. I'm sure this will will speak to your process. Uh, when I introduce Lakota methodology to organizations, uh, that's where I normally start because they will ask you, "What is this Lakota going to help us achieve?" You know, uh, the tendency of us business people is to de de reject something that is not familiar, that's not common. Uh, so you sometimes you, you have to educate people why you're doing it, why do you think it will work, and I always start with the objectives. Objective number one, why Lukotla uh, is applied and we are applying our facilitation. And it's not the only methodology, please get me right, uh, uh, this is very important. 
this is addition to your tools of tool tools or tool bag. Jine uh, uh, will agree with me. Uh, you have to have a lot of tools in your tool bag because sometimes situations may not allow it. For instance, if you want to bring Indugu to an organization that is not appreciative of cultures and is not transformed, they, they may just cause a, 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 a they may just cause a, a, a conflict unnecessarily. So you need to be careful and make sure that the, the environment where you are applying it is, is right and the people that you are bringing into, they are receptive to other cultural approaches because we keep on saying the Lekhotla methodology. But, but the beautiful thing about Lekhotla is that it's not a particular race group in, South, in Africa. Across the continent, this methodology is used. Uh, in, in Botswana, they call it Khotla. Uh, in South Africa, in, in the, the Barbados, we call it Lekhotla. And the Zulu speaking, they, I think they, they, they call is it, is it is it the same as in Bizo? Any Zulu speaking colleague here? I believe that Mbizo is a big meeting, but when the king and his, 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 his leaders meet, that will be for me the Lekhotla. So the objective number one is to have order, follow the chairperson and adherence to the agenda. Because in a Lekhotla methodology, is we, 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 uh, the agenda is very crucial. And the first discipline is to respect the topic that is on the floor. And also to appreciate the fact that once we are done, we can then move to the next level. And for us to move to the next level, if you are holding Indugu, you're going to have to put it in the center because as long as you are holding it, you say that I'm still on the floor and nobody will come and take it out of your hand. The only person that can do that is the chairperson. Remember, the chairperson is not necessarily holding Indugu. He puts it in the middle. He can coordinate and make sure that when there's stuckness, if there's a weight like that, then he facilitates that. So the meeting goes with a flow without the chairperson and Nesalu talking. The second objective of the Khotla is, is to reach an outcome and consensus at the end of the meeting. If you read our manual, the big manual, where we tabulate all steps that you have to go through, you will see that the Khotla and the main mini Khotlas don't take decisions. They, they discuss the recommendations, and then they, at the end of the day, because normally our Lohotla is a full day, when we go back to the main Lohotla, which is in English the main plenary, each of the main Lohotla scribes and reporters, or rapporteurs, they give back feedback, and we integrate the various deliberations from the various main Lohotla, which in English will be the breakaway rooms or breakaway groups, and then we table the decision making to the bigger fora. But what is fascinating is that each of the many Lohotla will have come up with recommendations as to how we take the matter forward. So if it was a learning Lohotla, it would be how do we implement what we have learned. And then we decide uh, and we debate. And, and now it becomes quite fascinating because you and your mini Lohotla are not going to deliberate on that issue anymore because you've deliberated in your mini Lohotla. Yours is to advance your inputs and your recommendations to the main Lohotla. And, and, and if, in many cases, and this is always happening, you'll find that the, the recommendations and the things that the, your mini Lohotla came up with, many a times it's the same recommendations of the other mini Lohotla. Because in the commercial methodology, what we have done before the, main Lohotla, the mini Lohotla will have had a subject matter guest expert as a guest delivering the topic. So when you go into a mini Lohotla, you will have gone out there with the same content. And that is the power of it. The third objective is to ensure that all members arrive on time and time frame for the meeting is adhered to. You can never run a Lohotla with people coming late because it's going to set you off. Because the first thing in a Lohotla, when we do facilitation uh, the commercial way, is the formation of the mini Lohotlas and allocating you to your own mini Lohotla and then those mini Lohotlas branding themselves and giving themselves identity on the basis of the members of that mini Lohotla. When you come late, you become an intruder of some sort. Of course, there are concepts and methodologies we use. How do we then induct you into it? Then we use the Bruce Tuckman methodology of team development and team formation, which is another topic for another day, but that is also brought in. The next objective is to give respect 
to all members of the team making input. This is very crucial because many times in our quarter you have experienced and inexperienced and the up and coming people. We don't want a situation where people are scared to talk because they are not holding a degree or they are not uh, at your level or they are not in the same industry with you. The respect is the absolute. It is not about the status of that person. It's about the input that person made. And it's about openness to learn from anyone, irrespective. In fact, we don't even mention titles uh, 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 in the main Lukota. It's only in your main Lukota where you are introducing yourself and you are actually telling them who you are. A title for us is just a brand of what your perspective is. What you have been through to be where you are today, we say you have a title. But in Mini Lukota, we dilute that. I mean, in our Lukota, we dilute that. The next objective for Lukota is to ensure that there are no unnecessary interruptions during the meeting. We actually encourage people to not to have phones on unless phones are part of that topic. Like when we had the Mini Lukota, on social media uh, insights and knowledge. Then the phone became the, the part of the learning. The other point that is very important is, the Lohota is not the end on its own. This is a facilitation methodology, it's a means to an end. We use it to facilitate a particular learning on a particular topic. And that's why you see in our, 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 our Lohota menu for the next year, we give you various topics. We are going to have one in January, which is the executive coaches, uh, uh, executive coaches uh, 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 forum. We are using that to facilitate the collaboration between executive coaches. So you can never just have Lokota unless you are training people on the Lokota methodology. But even then, you can't train people on the Lokota methodology unless you train. You are using it to address something to make it accessible. Like right now. We are introducing Lokota for you to be able to apply it in hosting your shows on a particular topic that your guest will be addressing. And that, that is very, very important. You have to hold it at the back of your mind. That I'm facilitating this topic, but I'm using the Lokota methodology for the message on this topic to arrive home and for the guest to be uninterrupted in reaching the audiences. Welcome, Savelo, and those who join a little bit later, we... We are close to a break just now. I'm just wrapping up with the objectives of the Lakota before we take the break. The next objective is to ensure that those members who normally do all the talking enhance their listening skills. I love this one. You know, do you know that it's a choice to be silent? And yet, very few of us exercise that choice. Because by nature, we want to be heard. Now, we need to know that this is a, 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 a natural weakness in all of us. And the biggest challenge is, is to learn to be quiet when it's necessary. This thing of just wanting to volunteer input, sometimes it creates a problem for you. Because it means that you are always volunteering input, you are not receiving input from other people, and therefore you are not actually listening and you are actually not adding anything to your knowledge base. Because you are just giving, 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 giving. But you are not even processing what people are giving you. So why we use the in Induku and we use the methodology is that a chairperson will be able to say, may I suggest, in fact, they, will just, they won't say anything, they'll just come and take Induku away and then and put it next to somebody that hasn't said anything. And then if that somebody doesn't pick it up, we all go into silence. Because silence is a powerful tool of communication. Because when we go into silence, all of us, we default into a reflection mode. And you'll be amazed that many a times we are reflecting on the same thing. After that silence, we go to the person that was supposed to be given a floor and we say, during that time that was allocated to you and you did not use it, you defaulted all of us into silence. What thoughts were going through your mind? Now you see that you can now avoid it because now you definitely have been in a thinking process. You might have been saying, but why did they pick me up? I wasn't ready to talk. You understand? That is enough for us to say, for you to say, yes, I used the silence to reflect why was I picked up. You see within one day, people who were never prepared to talk, volunteering to talk because now they experience the power of being given a space even by means of silence. 
That is very powerful. Now imagine in a conversation where you have a guest in a studio and you are a host. And this guest is one of those people that volunteer information. There's no need for you to be coming in. Why? Because the person has taken over. You are just to be listening. And then when the time comes in and say, I wonder as you were unleashing this, what were you thinking we were receiving that you were saying? Then a person gets shocked because now you are asking something that he was not preoccupied with. He was just preoccupied with sharing information and not worried about how the information is landing on you. Therefore, he was not really actively listening as he was delivering. And therefore, that, that part of a guest cannot enter into a conversation with you. Because a conversation is equal, is, is about to be an equal setup. Lastly, before we break, is to ensure that those members who hardly ever speak enhance their talking skills. So the Lohota creates space for everybody to do everything that is about their development area. And a very good facilitator of Lohota will know exactly those people and will make sure that those people are given their space without actually feeling coerced into taking their space. So those are the objectives of the Lohota. And once you give the the, 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 the group of uh, companies, directors, something like I said, wow, if this Lohota is going to make us achieve this, this is a capacity building in terms of team development and team formation and team functioning. I will hold it there and then ask a few remarks and then we go on a break. I think maybe we should go on a break uh, of five minutes and when we come back, uh, we will then reflect on this and then I will share with you quickly about the history and then we go into our conducts. Uh, welcome, uh, Sabelo. And who else came a little bit late? Sabelo, you're looking in for the first time. Do you mind just sharing with people, colleagues a little bit about you? Some people know you from your gospel and fellowship show. Well, thank you so much, uh, Brother Sam. Uh, my name is Sabelo Marshalela. Uh, I am uh, a businessman in South Africa. Um, I, I, I'm also an author of uh, books. I've written about three books. Uh, I run my own business. Um, my business is a company called Zia Group, which is an investment company. We've got some uh, few investment interests. Uh, and I also have a, a foundation. Uh, it does uh, quite a few... Uh, social related uh, projects. Uh, one of the projects that we're doing, we are into publishing. Uh, so that's the one that also has published my books. Uh, yeah, so I am uh, I'm also involved in another uh, project that uh, is a, a, a which is a global a global based project uh, in the digital space uh, with blockchain technology. Um, I'm also part of the uh, the Sunday uh, um, uh, Gospel and Fellowship uh, show that uh, is hosted by our brothers. Uh, so yeah, so I... I am sorry that I'm late, uh, Brother Sam. I, I misread the message. I thought it was starting at 7 o'clock, so... Yeah, yeah. No problem. We are happy that you could join. Thank you very much, Brother Saidelu. No problem. Welcome. Let's take five minutes break and then we'll 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 come back, sum up, and then we we'll move into 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 the the main com com components of our lecture today. Welcome. Uh, Sydney, welcome. I saw you joining. Five minutes break. Please mute yourself. Uh, we'll be back. <laughs> 